I feel like they're usually the regular crew. It could. <laughs> it really could. Okay, uh, Miss Angela, we, I'm just going to start uh, just showing my background here while we get started. because I didn't do mine yet either. Okay, excellent. Okay. How long does it take to just so to dry? Um, actually, it, it doesn't even matter today because we're going to blend in a little bit of black with it. So we're, oh, we're going to create, okay. we're gonna create that background with the gesso as well. So you're good. So, like I said, I'm just going to put a you know, thin layer of gesso on. Nice and even along the surface. So we're going to be uh, working with black and white today, uh, working on contrast and highlights, um, doing more exercise than that. Okay. And what size is your canvas? Mine? Mm -hmm. 14 by 14. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Right. There you go. You really challenged yourself. <laughs> That's good. So I don't have to paint super fast today. <laughs> oh, good. All right, very good. So I'm putting this gesso on, right? So <clears throat> we're slowly going to start to incorporate black on the top and bottom of this. And I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I got my black here. A little my brush with some black. And I'm just going to come to the top and mix it in that gesso. Should give you like start to give you like a gray. Okay. Hey, that's my man Gary. Except in my car is an eight inch of water. Oh, uh, down there at the yeah, corner, right here. I almost did it. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Can I move this? Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I stepped down into about eight inches of water. And I if you want to sit, sit here, Garrison, you can see me. But it's totally okay. up to you. All right. It's it's up to you. Right here or over there? Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay. Chair, that's fine. See, see better. So all I'm doing right now is um, we're gessoing our background. And then we're adding in black up the top and then the white, and we're going to blend it together. That's all right. I got some right here. Take some of this. Okay. I got a big, big can here. Yeah, it's ugly out. So I'm just blending this, <coughs> this black right in here. The vessel will dry quick, right? Um, not too quick, but we want to keep it sort of wet so you can. Oh, blend do you want to keep it wet? Okay. Yeah, we want to put wet on wet so we can blend a little better. Okay. All right. I'll just work that black right on then. Aaron, are you mixing white in too now? Are you mixing white in too or just the black so far? Uh, so what I'm doing is I put the black up top and I'm mixing the white in just because I'm getting a little dry down here. Okay. So I can mix it together. It all depends on how your, your canvas is flowing. If Like mine's a little drier. It's a little warm in here. So mine's drying a little faster. Mm. Yeah, you want your the top to be slightly gray, like slightly like a light gray. And I'm literally mixing right on my canvas. So I'm going straight from my brush, mixing straight to the canvas. Um, that's going to be a surprise, Gary. Okay. Just follow, <laughs> just follow the teacher. Well, we, well, we, are work, we are only working with black and white on this painting. Okay. All right. I'm going to tell you that. We're going to be focusing on contrast and uh, really, really uh, practicing how to make highlights and pop color. All right, so got my gray here up my top. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with black at the bottom. And 
And then I'm going to just pull this black up into the white. There we go. Okay. Looks like a dark cloud, just like today. It looks like <laughs> gray clouds at the top. Yeah. Right. Good night. Yeah, no marriage today. Weather probably got it on. Yeah. I sure I wasn't expecting you guys to make it out. Glad you made it. I have to go near near her afterwards anyway. Oh, okay. It's not going to make any difference to me. Gotcha. I have to drive out here anyway. Oh. Pretty good, thank you. Right. Looking good. Thanks. Thanks. Splitting this black right in the bottom. As we get to the middle, it's really going to get lighter. So we want to use pretty much white in the middle. Coming in with white in the middle. And I'm pulling this white now into the gray. Hey, John. Good, how are you? Okay. A couple of... Just keep letting your brush flow. Letting that color really play together. Yeah, just white and metal. Stuff, right? Yep. Okay. And the bottom should be a little, a tad bit darker contrast than the top. Just a, just a bit, but you definitely want to see a different contrast, darker contrast on the bottom. Now, right now, I'm just using a little water just to blend everything together. Hex patterns, swirls, just to get that color to come together, blend that. Righty, righty.
Okay, so I got my background pretty much laid out. Just coming in here and layering down more white just to make it a little thicker, keep it wet. Okay, now. Got my, my background in. I'm gonna clean off my brush. Now what, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna load it with white. I'm gonna come in the middle up here and I'm gonna create a circle. Just gonna go down and kind of make this circle here. Now, if you want to use a lid or something to trace um, a circle, that, that's totally fine. If you want like a perfect circle or sphere, I'm going to put it right there, about so. I'm just using pure white right now. This is going to turn into a nice moon. Just kind of sketching the shape out with the paint. <laughs> okay. So I got my circle, my sphere, start my moon. Okay. Now I'm gonna mix a little bit of gray on my palette. Using the black and the white. And I'm gonna come about midway through the painting on my canvas. And I'm going to create my, I'm going to draw in my horizon line. And it should cut right through the moon. See that little light line right there? Okay. Um, so this is for the background. Yeah, you can use regular white. Um, yeah, on the moon and from now on. So, now I'm going to, I'm going to take mostly black, 
and I'm going to take a little bit of white. And I'm going to create a darker color, not totally black, but darker contrast in the bottom of our of our painting of our canvas here. Now, all we're gonna do is take our brush and we're just gonna start drawing some mountains in here. Just get that form of the mountain and bring it right down to that line like that. I'll fill it in. It's still wet, that's okay. We're just laying down base color right now, to get our shapes. Okay. Okay. Now, black and white can be tricky because it, obviously it's only two colors. So that being said, we when we want our highlights to really pop, we want to start off with it. You always want to start off with a darker color on the back. Laying down first a darker color. So that's what we're doing now with these mountains. Um, we're going to create darker mountains. And when we come back next week, putting in more detail. You'll see how it really will pop out. Put some more over here. Um, 29th. 29th? Yeah, I got to get the colors. Okay. All the way down the city. Gotcha. I'm pointing this to 10 something. 10 o'clock. Okay. No way. Yep. I don't have much choice because I have any more. Openings, you know. Yeah. I I um uh, had this cousin for an appointment. The first one they had was June fifth. Okay. It's crazy right now. For dermatology? No, for um GI. Got okay. some mountains laid out. <laughs> And I'll just fill them in with, just fill them in to get them solid. So I know what we're working with. So fill them right on in. So now, once you have the mountains in, you're gonna come down here to the bottom of the mountain and you're gonna lay in solid black. And then you're just gonna pull up on it to make the mountain a little darker on the bottom where that light's not hitting. It should be nice, still nice and moist, so you can kind of play with that color. Okay. 
and it's black again. Now we're going to pop down to the bottom in a second while this dries. All right. Okay. Okay. No pressure. Now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take my white paint and I'm just gonna start making these mountains really come to life by, um, since the moon is in the middle, this side of the mountain, uh, on your left side of your canvas, the right side of the mountains should be highlighted in white. So I'm gonna come over here, starting in this one, and I'm just gonna light, gently lay some some highlight on this mountain here. Some white now. And I'm just doing the same thing on each one of these ridges. I'm just laying a little white down to highlight it. Okay. So your mountain is on your left side. On the right of the mountain, it should be highlighted in white to reflect that light from the moon. Now I'm going to do the same thing with these little mouths on the right, but this time, since the moon is on the left, our highlight was going to be on our left side. If you kind of tap your brush on the canvas, it'll It'll like break the paint and it'll make it look real choppy. That's okay, because it'll look like rocks and little craters and crevices on the mountain for you.
Okay. Now I'm just going to take, uh, this is actually a two inch brush I have. That's just because I have a bigger canvas. So you can use a two inch or if you don't have a two inch, you can use the one inch brush. I guess I'll stick with the one inch brush. So we're all on the same level. So I'm going to take my one inch brush and I'm going to load it with black. Pretty good. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start to work little, little uh, taps in here on the bottom of these mountains. And I'm leaving some white space to show. I'm just tapping in black right here. I'm gonna create some land over here. See how I'm tapping this black in, almost like I'm doing leaves on a tree, but I'm, I'm, all I'm doing is I'm laying down some land. Okay, I'm just I'm just punching this this black right on just like this, really really aggressive on the canvas, just laying this land, this grass down. So what I'm doing right now is you can see, okay, I'm kind of, I kind of made a path here. You can see it, you kind of see the path coming in. See that path going in. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what's happening right now. We're just laying down the grass area, our land, our landscape. Okay. I need some of that white space in. Don't want to cover it totally up, but just tap it in. So you still have white coming, shining through your black.
Aaron, you went away. I can't see you anymore. Hang on just oh. a second. I'll be right there. One second. Oh, 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 okay. Trying to get somebody, to get somebody okay. else into the class. I'm still working on the press. I haven't moved yet. All right, we're back. So I just laid that grass down and created that path on the water. Okay. And now I'm just going to mix a I'm mixing a light gray right here in the middle of my palette. Load my brush. Then I'm gonna come up here on the edge. I'm gonna tap a little highlights in here on the land, on this grass, just like we did the, the black. Okay. I'm keeping my brush pretty flat too. I'm kind of going with the horizontal with the land right now. Keeping my brush nice and flat. And again, just tapping what we already got laid down in our grass area with the black. Just tapping in our highlights. Now I'm gonna clean my brush. Okay, so now I got a clean brush. I'm going to take some white. We'll make it pretty flat. And then I'm gonna come in here about right in the middle of our pass. And I'm just gonna press the line there. And then I'm gonna come down. I'm just gonna drag this white down to make a waterfall. Recording in progress. All I'm doing is going to that line and I'm pulling straight down. Going to this line and I'm pulling straight down. It's okay if the paint breaks. That's really oh, that's me. Sorry. Well, we got to show, start our waterfall here. Okay.
Now going back to my black. And I'm going to put a rock right here next to it. And I'm just keeping my brush flat and just going really firm on the canvas to create this rock here, boulder, right next to the waterfall. Solid black. Just taking them on both sides of the waterfall. Kind of letting them float a little bit. We'll, we'll fill that in later. Okay. And we're going to finish up here for the day in a second. I want, to, I want to put our stars in before we close out. We need that to be dry for next week. So now what I'm doing is trick to making stars or snow even you wet your brush really good take the excess water off then you load it up with white paint Now you might want to practice on a napkin, but you want to take the white paint and make sure your brush is really wet. And you're going to take these bristles and just spring them back like this and let them flick. So it's going to be like this. It's going to flick right on your paint. I need some more water. Yeah, red it real good. Yeah, it real good. Yep. Then take these. Flip it on there. Flip them back, right? Mm -hmm. That becomes spiral over my painting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd be very angry with that. <laughs> yeah, you could you could test it on the napkin first before you flick it on, just to make sure you got the the splatter that you need. Uh, it again, some more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want your right, your bristles to stay really moist, because if not, you're just gonna be glot. What are we looking for in the napkin? What's that? What are we looking for in the napkin? Oh, just to get a couple of splatters out. Okay. Sometimes you might get like a chunk or just just so you it doesn't yeah. do what you don't want it to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, spray it. Just spray it on there. Oh, I, I, I could have done that about two minutes ago. <laughs> yep. Just spray it. on the top. Spray. Spray. Aaron, are you touching the canvas with the brush or are you just flicking it from a, a distance? Yeah, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm from a distance. I'm about okay. four, four inches off and I'm just flicking it. I'm I just see. Okay. It. So yeah, I'm I see. Just literally spraying it on there. Cool. Yep, the, the top. Yep, you want to do the top where the moon is. The whole top. You get stars in it. That's fine because we're going to go over and touch that up next week. So that's totally fine. Yeah, that's cool.
That's so cool. It gives you some nice stars in there. Yeah, that's cool. Mine look like falling stars. <laughs> <laughs> I I see my first shooting star. All right. But look, you can always take your your detail brush, wet it real good too, so you get it to a nice point, and you can put a couple of bigger stars in there here and there. Put one over here, here, some bigger ones. Get a thin brush and get some bigger stars, right? Mm -hmm. And that way you're not sitting here for weeks doing mm -hmm. little dots at a time. Right, dot little bigger size. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now we got the constellations wrong. <laughs> I don't see a big dipper. So now I'm I'm just simply going back to my moon and I'm going to take some pure white and just brighten this moon up with the white. And that's going to be it for today. We got a nice solid background. We got our landscape laid out. So we're ready to rock and roll next week with some intricate detail and contrast shading. Yeah, once you bright once you brighten this moon up, all white is really gonna bring everything together and make it give it real uh, contrast difference. And for the moon, I'm just, I'm literally just going in here with solid white, getting the shape down. And then I'm just kind of roughly just patching it in there. I'm not, I'm not trying to give a smooth uh, surface on the moon. Because if you do it like this, it'll, pre it'll, it'll present craters. Um, it'll give it like a crater effect. If you leave it nice and rough. So I'm just going in there like doing like swirls and X's. So I'm still leaving that shade in there. Imitating the craters. I'm in there. And now I'm just swirling everything together. You can see 
car looks like I got craters in it now. I like with the white. We'll come back and get her computer. Thank you, Aaron. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, sir, for coming. Appreciate you, John. Thank you. Hello, good job. So, how are we looking, Miss Angela? Okay, I think. But I, <laughs> I didn't get to the waterfall. I never got to the waterfall yet. Okay, that's 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 cool. So maybe next week you could just tell us quickly each step that we did before we start yeah, back. Absolutely. Okay. And I I literally only did one step for the waterfall. So that's that that's you're not missing anything at all. Okay. But you got the moon. Can, can I take a peek? Is it possible? Yeah. Swing your phone or something. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. The whole thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks nice. But you see the bottom part of the moon, I have to. Um, it's blending in with the white, so I have to make that a little bit darker underneath here. Don't worry about it. That's oh. going to get painted over anyway. You're oh, good. okay. <laughs> You're Thank good. You. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. This was fun. Awesome. Okay. So even though we have just black and white working with two colors, we got some, we established our depth and our layout. So when we come back in, like I said, next week, we're going to um, really throw some, some more highlights in. We're going to add some, some trees, uh, finish this water, and pull this thing together next week. Okay? Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week. See you next week. My pleasure. Take care now. You too.